It's a feeling I know well, and you probably do too. I walk out of a store wondering how I went in there to buy one thing and walked out with 10, or how I meant to spend $5 and somehow dropped 50. It turns out, stores have a lot of secrets they use, mostly to encourage consumers to spend more. Prepare to be amazed by this list of the top 10 things retailers don't want you to know. Amazing! Number 10. Trademarked Apple Names Apples are healthy and delicious, but trying to figure out which kind to get is confusing. As a result of producers trying to improve flavor and reduce problems like mealy, mushy apples, there are many varieties. They can taste very different, not to mention have very different costs per pound. It turns out that the names of apples, like Honeycrisp or Red Delicious, are trademarked. Most of the breeds are not, although a few, like the Sweet Tango, have a limited patent and are produced by a very restricted crop of growers. Anyone can purchase and plant a Honeycrisp tree, but only a very small group is approved to sell the Sweet Tango, which explains why one of those apples has a sweeter price than the other. However, most apple breeds are not under patent, so if you come across a pink lady that is more expensive than a rosy glow, then just go for whichever is cheapest. They come from the same variety of apple called Crips Pink. Number 9. Grocery stores waste a lot of produce. At this point, you probably just want to put your produce in a nice protective plastic bag in your freshly sanitized cart, but you're probably overpaying for pretty produce. Stores refuse or throw away tons of fruit and vegetables just because they're ugly, funny shaped, or maybe with variations in color. The way a vegetable looks doesn't affect the taste, it's what's on the inside that counts, right? If you want to save money, a company called Imperfect will deliver ugly produce at a reduced price in California, Dallas, and other U.S. marketplaces. That's great because I only care about what's inside my wallet. Number 8. They leave out commas to play with your head. On the other hand, if a retailer does use a price tag on a big ticket item like a big screen TV, they may still have a few tricks up their sleeves. When you look at these expensive prices, you may see 2999 for a $3,000 TV instead of 2,999. What's the difference? Research shows that more syllables in a price tag makes people view the item as more expensive, even though it's exactly the same price. To beat this trick, remind yourself of the actual cost, tax and all. Number 7. Drawing shoppers to the right When entering a store, shoppers are often drawn to the right for several reasons. For one thing, most of us are right-handed. As a result, Studies show we're more likely to shop in a counterclockwise pattern, so stores often place more expensive items on the right of the store, where we'll see them first. How convenient! In grocery stores, they might place baked goods to the right so the smell draws you in and put you in a happy mood for shopping and spending more money. Department stores put perfumes on the right for a similar reason. They're hoping the good smells will loosen your grip on your wallet. Don't let them fool you. Turn up your nose at those good smells and head to the left side of the store instead. But if you do make it to the back of the store without breaking the bank, you're likely to find the clearance rack. It's placed back there to make sure you get to look at all the full price stuff first. Oh, and if you think it's always a mess, you're right. The store hopes you'll find it so disorganized that you go towards the front of the store and buy something higher priced that you can actually find. Number 6. They make it hard to find new or smaller brands. Big manufacturers not only pay for the best shelf space, typically the coveted eye level spots, but sometimes they can pay to get other products practically moved to a different zip code. In California, things got serious enough for independent bakers to file a lawsuit against Sarah Lee for allegedly paying stores to relegate other bagel brands to the very top and bottom shelves, where customers were least likely to look. If you don't want your buying experience manipulated by the biggest brands, Look at every shelf and consider less familiar products before making a decision. You may find something that tastes better at a lower price. Number 5. Clearance Tags Have Schedules Knowing the clearance schedule of the stores you shop at can help you stay ahead of the game. Target, for example, has a schedule of which departments they mark down each week. Mondays they mark down baby or children's and electronic items. Tuesday is for women's clothing and home items. And Wednesday is marked down day for food, health, and beauty men's clothes, toys, and gardening. On Thursday, they mark down lingerie, sporting goods, and luggage. Friday is the day to shop for cosmetics, jewelry, hardware, auto, and home improvement. Also pay attention to the tiny number in the upper right-hand corner of the tag, which tells you how much the item is already marked down. A 15 means it's only 15% off, although it can go as high as 90 if the item is still in the store. 90% off is a real bullseye for savvy shoppers. Number four. Carnival Mirrors in Clothing Stores 
I've often bought things that look great on me at the store, but when I went home and tried them on, I suddenly couldn't remember why I'd bought them. This might be due to the mirrors at the department store. Many clothing shops use carnival-style mirrors to make customers look thinner, or they tilt a regular mirror for this effect. Some stores have these funhouse mirrors in both the dressing rooms and out on the sales floor because they know people are more likely to buy an item if they think it looks slimming. A good thing to watch out for, if you notice you not only look thinner but taller, you're definitely being tricked by the mirror. I can maybe talk myself into thinking I lost 5 pounds, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get taller overnight. Number 3. Toy Manufacturers Intentionally Undersupply Toys Every holiday season, it seems like there's a new hot toy everyone's kid wants and no one can find. Turns out, the manufacturer often undersupplies stores to drive demand. The retailer runs out early and the media runs stories about parents desperate to find the IT toy, often with a crying toddler in tow. People who can't afford to overpay online go back to the store, where they either try to order the item or find something else their kid might like. A win for the store either way. Number 2. Your grocery store cart handle is germ-ridden A study from the University of Arizona says store shopping cart handles are actually dirtier than supermarket bathrooms, and half of them carry E. coli, likely from other shoppers using the restroom, failing to wash their hands afterwards, then gripping that shopping cart handle. Wow, isn't that appetizing? If your store offers wet wipes with their cart selection, take full advantage. Number 1. Jewelry stores hide price tags on purpose I've noticed that some jewelry stores hide the price tags, especially on their more expensive items. This is intentional. They don't want customers to see the price, get sticker shock, and walk away searching for a better price on an auction site. Instead, they want you to ask about the price so the salesperson has a chance to sell you on the emotional value, relating an emotional story about the piece, or asking about the special person you're buying for if you're shopping for a gift. A good way to avoid this is to look at prices online before heading to the jewelry store, so you can avoid getting emotional when the credit card bill arrives. Have you seen a shining example of something retailers don't want shoppers to know? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe, clicking that bell icon to never miss a new video. Thanks for watching.